Hey guys, okay, I've got a new piece of uh, equipment here to show you. This is a media center for the TV. Now you can do anything with this. I use this strictly for, um, just for uh, TV shows because I don't have, you know, Foxtel cable or anything like that. What this is, I'll give you a closer look in a sec. It's called, it's a WD, the HDMI. Uh, so we, um, it's a media, well, basically a media center. Uh, so imagine like all your TV shows on a hard drive and you go through this thing which would be like, you know, your Windows Media Player, for instance. Um, comes up on your screen, you select what you want. You don't need to put TV shows, you can put movies, photos, uh, music, you know, all that sort of, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but I mainly use it for my TV shows. I'll try to give you a bit of a closer look, which is really sort of hard to see because it's, it's not very big. This is only a small unit. It's got HDMI out, and you know, the normal, where are we, the normal plugs there. You got digital sound out and all that. So I got, I bought, uh, I got that, and I got a 1.5 terabyte hard drive, and I've got about, just under 500 gig left. And here's the remote that comes with it. So a normal remote when you select things. Now what I've done... As I said, yeah, I, I only put my TV... It's being lazy, really. Uh, all my TV shows are on here. I'll, I'll put it on, and I'll let you have a look at it. Um, but if you're interested in anything like that, this is really the way to go. See, I'm not really one for uh, Foxtel or cable TV. We used to have Foxtel, and the box basically collected dust because uh, anything they had on TV, TV show-wise that I wanted, um, I had on DVD. And I don't need the movie channels because all the movies that I want, I've got. I'm not interested in sport. The only other thing I was really interested in was probably the doco channels, the history channel and all that. And on the net, I've got uh, sites that you can stream where I can watch like the history channel stuff and stream it straight on the net. So I have no need to be paying about 100 to $110 a month. I'd rather put that money elsewhere. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll plug this in and um, give you a look. Uh, and what's on it and sort of roughly how it works. Now I've only had this thing for about a week so uh, I've dumped I don't know 700 gigs worth of stuff on there but I haven't configured it properly yet. You can like say for Family Guy for instance the TV show um, what have I got? I think I've added like a photo like a picture of Family Guy so you you know you can see what you've got and what you want to pick. You select it and it opens up and you know all your episodes there and your seasons I'll plug it in and we'll have a look. Okay guys, just flipped it on. We'll have a look when it comes up. That's basically what it looks like. Now what this should do now... Okay, I thought it was gonna... Normally what it does is scans the hard drive for all the information, but it's already... Uh, does it pretty quick, so it's obviously done that fairly fast. But here's all your media. In there... Up here it's all your settings, that's for photos, which uh, I haven't got like in there, your audio. How's that? Picture of guitar. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, so here we are in a meter. Now what I use, uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, I haven't mucked around with it. I think what this one does here, that kind of shuffles all your episodes, if you're going to be using TV related stuff. Uh, oh, wrong button, hang on. Not quite sure what that's for. Okay. Yeah, I need to go back to uh, the manual and have a look. Mainly what I use anyway, is I go into the folders here. As I said, I haven't finished yet. There's two USB inputs, uh, and I've got my plugged into USB 2. See, so what I need to do, because I've used more than half of the 1.5 terabyte, which is a lot, um, I've seen that they've got a 3 terabyte that you can buy. So I think within the next couple of weeks, I'll be buying the 3 terabyte, because I've just got, you know, uh, a lot of TV shows now. I don't want to run out of uh, space future wise, so we'll select on there. And as I said, I haven't finished yet. So, the Family Guy, I mean, these are all other episodes. It's Get Smart, Hannah Montana, Hogan's Heroes, but I haven't done like these yet. That's Elf, if you remember Elf, American Dad, that's just a backup folder, Frasier, Friends, Futurama, Get Smart, Gilligan's Island. Hannah Montana, Hagen's Heroes, Home Improvement, Knight Rider, as in Knight Rider 2000. Oh, yeah, we've got a picture of Knight Rider there. Leave it to Beaver, Favour of Children, Queer as Folk, Roseanne, 
Roswell, Saved by the Bell, Seinfeld, Sliders, Smallville, South Park, Star Trek Next Generation, because I'm a bit of a dork, uh, Supernatural, Terminator, Sarah Connor Chronicles, that 70s show, The Cleveland Show, that new show, The Monsters, The Nanny, The Simpsons, The Vampire Diaries, and V, The New V. Alright, so I'll fire one up and I'll show you what happens when you get uh, in there. I'll just go on, say that one for instance. Now what you can do, you can actually, I haven't done it yet, as I said, I've only had the thing for about a week, week to two weeks. You can put an image from each episode in each individual thing, so rather than just a picture of a, just a disc, um, you'll have your, you know, and look a lot better. It's a lot, you know, more presented, a lot more presentable, I should say. So you just select the episode you want, and away you go. And it's just like a DVD. You got your fast forwards and all that. Oop, hang on, what have we got there? I think they can this show. I think it's uh, not running anymore. This area has been joined by four men, and they are armed. What you're going to do is click back. Guys, what are we doing? And she goes back. You just click back again. And there we go. As I said, in that other system, that other part of it, you can actually shuffle it. So it's like Foxtel. Anything could come up, because it would be all, all shuffled. Uh, you know, whatever. You know what I mean. So it's just like Foxtel. What gets me about... Foxtel here in Australia, they say watch what you want, when you want. Well, that's a lie, because anyone from Australia, if you're old enough, do you remember that TV show, Hey Dad? So I ring up Foxtel and I say, oh, I don't want to watch Hey Dad, I want to watch episode 196 now. Can they do it? No. And I can't do it here either. But whatever shows I've got, I can watch whatever episode I want. Not like Foxtel, it's, you know, Watch what we've got, then record it to the, you know, the IQ and stuff, and then you can watch it whenever you want. So, yeah. Well, there's South Park anyway, and I've got to attach everything to that. A couple have attached already. So, what, what is there in South Park? There's seasons up to... That's not right. There's more seasons than that. Oh, I'm all over the place here. I don't know. Season 9. There's not, there's actually 13 seasons. I'm sure I haven't put the new ones on there yet. But anyway, yeah, that's the media system. Uh, I think it's fantastic for what I want. It's kind of laziness, you know, so you don't have to get up and change a disc all the time. You just let the entire season run, or all the seasons run. So I love it. I reckon it's fantastic. Uh, it's just going to need another bigger hard drive, that's all. So what, what I've done, all the DVDs, this is how I've done it. To save on space, quality, like on TV, that looks great. Um, I've run it through a program called DVD Shrink. I compress the hell out of the files, and in DVD Shrink, you can cut out credits. So, the end credits of a TV show that may go for 30, 40, up to a minute, like seconds up to a minute, you can cut it out. So, I've done all that, so I've just constantly flows. Now, this saves on space on your hard drive, plus you're compressing the hell out of it. So, I've done a lot of that to make things fit. It doesn't seem like, I mean, there's a lot of episode shows on there, but, I mean, you're still looking at about, what have I used, about six, 700 gig. And that's compressing the hell out of them. So I highly recommend, if you're going to do this, to do that. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this. And I uh, hope you enjoyed having a look at this. And I'll see you later. Enjoy yourselves, guys.